player for Brandon hasn't responded since yesterday. Castle was here earlier saying that he would be here. We'll see. Hello. Hello. Ah, there we go. I love it when Discord changes your output repeatedly. Oh, I hate that. Which headset is it going to? Who knows? Do a test road real quick. Make sure our twenty is working. So last time, the party left the city of Alistair, traveled past Wolf Chapel in Hillsford. They saw a camp set up by the ministry. They learned of the areas that had been surveyed by the local rangers they traveled into the storm discovering the temple of the divine axis and its current situation solaire and the demons goth she solaire told you that gothriel had intended to take her to the abyss make her into the new commander of his dark angels the party was able to defeat those demons allow Solaire the freedom to return to Skyhaven they intended to rest at the temple they were able to complete a short rest but then they were interrupted towards the south of them this gateway is opening that is the gate into the abyss there are dark creatures 
pouring out of this portal. On the other side of the portal, it's it's like dark and blurry, but the party can make out there is a male drow individual. He's wearing dark armor, a cloak of spiders, and he has a, a strange assortment of tools or keys or something hooked onto his belt he looks through the portal he looks sort of disappointed he folds his arms and turns to walk away let's Let's roll initiative. I'll handle Brandon and Castle. Good, so it's not 2v9. Yeah. These seem like lesser demons, so be, we'll be fine. Which what rest? I think I did mine last time. Yeah. Uh, but that. But does temp HP drop during a short rest, or is it only during a long rest? I don't know. I think it's. I think. It's a long rest. Cool, so I still have that from the last fight. Cool. Uh, so initiative. Oh no. <laughs> These creatures approach the party, and then it's Val's turn. Catch a break. Like, come on. And. God, I didn't even go too far. I'm gonna go right next to Brandon. And I'm just gonna. You know what? I am going to. I'm just gonna bonus action hex him. Not my hex blade, but just regular hex. This guy in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna first blast him with my Eldritch Blast for 26 to hit. Yeah, that hits. The first one and the second one, 25. Four, eight, and five, and also two and six. So eight, eight, sixteen, twenty, twenty-one damage to this guy. This guy is blown back and destroyed by the first blast. Would Phil have oh. a different target? God damn it. Yeah, I'll just put it to this guy then. Cool. The next. I was aiming for the same dude, but I guess the first blast just obliterated him and just went towards the next guy. Uh huh. Cool. Brandon is slashing, attacking this one. Then it's 
Sine's turn. Did we all roll a nine on initiative? Um. The demons are all going on twenty. Otherwise, I mean, the three of us. So Sin will just run up to Val, just look over at him. So I guess shoot first, ask questions later again, huh? Uh, yeah. Like, I just, I try to take a nap and it just never works. We can't catch a break. Well, I'm sure at some point this will all stop, and I will take my crossbow and completely whiff. <laughs> what? Ten hits. <laughs> I was aiming at that guy, but I'm sure that doesn't hit. Ten hits, yeah. It hits? Mm hmm A ten? Damn. Okay. Alrighty, finally, so finally someone's made that I can hit. So, uh, 10 points of damage. Cool. What are these things, by the way? They are... They seem to be lesser demonic creatures. He's dead. Season A, I told you nothing to worry about. These are lesser demons. They're going to be done with, like, a pinky touch. I'm not worried about them. I want to know more about their master. Oh, that okay. drow. Oh. I mean, I saw him, but I didn't think anything of it. You don't find that curious at all? A lot of people have been throwing demons at our ways in the past, so it's like, just what's another person, right? How many demons have we been fighting? I don't know, I lost count. Castle and Brandon oh, look, are getting <laughs> swarmed by these mm -hmm. creatures. That'll and be fine. <laughs> What's new? <laughs> and then it's Val's turn. Okay. Oh, God. I can't. Oh, I can do this. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to use my bonus action to transfer the hex to this guy. Mm-hmm. And I am going to swing with X card A shot at a fucking A. At 11? Yep, that's it. A. Okay, so I'm going to do 9 plus. So 10 damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cool. Does that kill him? Yeah. Okay, and then my second attack, I'm just going to focus on this guy. For 21. Mm -hmm. For 9. Plus, oh, I don't do the hex. So, 9 damage. Cool. And then I turn, look back at Sinead, it's like, see? Lesser. Nothing to worry about. Kinda. I hope. Why is that portal still open? <laughs> I 
<laughs> well, the longer it stays open, the more chance we have of going through. Yeah, true. And without using a sigil, or one of our sigils. Exactly. What is, uh, it's gonna be Sine's turn after Brandon takes out some guys. So this is the only one left? This skeleton right here? Yeah. Let's, uh, fire a crossbow bolt at him. Yeah. Actually not a bad roll, but... Let's see. Oh, there we go. That balances it out. You could roll, roll your life. Slayer, Corpse Slayer. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, I have to have that. Um, what's it called? Attuned, right? Is it? At the moment, no. I have the two rings I'm wearing, and I have the Stone of Good Luck attuned. Okay. But I'm sure Castle will deal with it soon. Require us, okay. Cool. Okay. So that's the last of these enemies. Decision time. Do we go through the portal? I mean, I'd like to, but wasn't our overall goal to meet up with the other angel? Yeah, so either. Wait a minute, it opened up from the other side. Uh... It does seem to be getting smaller. Oh. Well, that's good, at least. At least it'll close. Uh, so quick, do we want to jump through or no? I have no business in the Abyssal Realm yet. Not yet until... Oh, we, d we do need to go to... What's his name? Azeroth first. Yes. I need enough sigils to make that trip. Okay. Cool. We'll just hopefully monitor it and make sure it closes all the way before up. Uh, hmm. Speak of the devil. Well, don't worry, I'm here. I have a feeling we're going to see that drow again. Yeah. I couldn't really tell his expression though. It was a little blurry. I wish I could have gotten a better look to see who it was. I might have even known him. But you, what? Do you do you all normally travel? Actually, travel to the realm itself, or do you just? Very few make that trip. Fewer still return. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we do regularly summon creatures from the realm. Yeah, that's that's I I understood that part, but I didn't know you guys actually made the trip. Like I, I go ahead. I have never been. Mm -hmm. like, I doubt any of the priests actually made the trip. Have made a trip to uh, fucking Haven. Uh, High Haven. High Haven. High Haven. Indeed, I'm sure most of them could only dream of doing so. Yeah. But with Azir and tow, I'm sure making the trip will not be so frightening. 
after all having yeah. one of the demon lords sort of smooths things over yeah I just he is a demon lord if well, we'll talk about it when we get to that point in resurrecting him if we resurrect him yeah. when we resurrect him yeah if we can that's what I mean like we'll have to talk to Azeroth see what's up we should be able to I mean he's only probably just cut in half I don't know I did not see the state he was in after he was slain oh well most of the demons have been that are like kept there like cut split down the middle vertically like it's kind of weird that's how they I don't know But anyway, shall we go on? I suppose so, yes. Uh, unless we want to attempt to rest again. Uh, you... Should we try? I mean, it, it may... Huh. I mean, are we going to get a chance once we make it to the arcane realm? doesn't seem likely no but how likely is it that uh they're just gonna be sending keep sending people through or things through we could try how, how long do you need to rest just four hours yes four i expended hours. a good number of spells already and so there does seem correct. This blizzard does seem to be subsiding a little bit. But it's still oh. looking cold. I mean, we could try again. I mean, we left up Castle's tent, so it's still up. Castle Castell. <laughs> Which one is it? I don't know. What do you prefer, a castle or castell? <laughs> Angry rock today. noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's our barbarian for you. Mm -hmm. Typical. So, yeah, let's, uh,. For your sake, let's try to rest. I only need a short rest, so I'm pretty sure four hours is fine for me. I suspect that he came here looking for Solaire, and now that he knows she is no longer here, he probably won't bother with us anymore. Okay. I Just... am worried about the other guys. Which other guys? The Gothrig on them. Well, we're not going to be able to face them unless we rest either either way. That's true. Okay, let's try again. Well, for your sake. So we will uh, attempt to recamp at least for uh, a, li a little while, whether we get eight hours or not. Okay. If we can get up to four hours, that's fine with me too. I don't need need a long rest right now. Do the others? Oh, I don't know, but they're not here, so. They're... Well, mechanically they're still here. <laughs> True. So we'll att we'll make that attempt and see how it goes. Yes. We're gonna attempt at another long rest in the blizzard in the tent that Castle brought, and it's tiny. And we're just huddled up. Does, since he's a rock person, does he even emit any kind of heat, like body heat? <laughs> or is he just like as cold as outside? Because I'm not gonna sit next to him if he's cold as outside. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Genasi are 
like pure rock. So he would emit emit body heat. Most I'm just likely. saying it's cold. We're in a close thing, close space, and close space, and uh, yeah, I just trying to keep warm. Well, you can always snuggle with uh, Castle and Brandon. I think just sitting next to them is, will be fine, good enough. I don't need a snuggle. Well, you're the one complaining you're cold. Well... Nah, 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 I'll just sit next to them. And I'll just also take a seat and drop into my meditative trance. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> the party is able to mm. probably about an probably about an hour or two after the party begins to rest, they become aware of something might be watching but it's not enough of a disturbance to interrupt the rest mm -hmm. uh, speaking of Rockman oh hello Oh. Not the page that I want. <laughs> what it used to look like. You saw a vision. Cool. We were just debating whether or not Earth Genasi have body heat or if they're just as cold as the environment they're in. Ah. Uh, uh, I would say uh, they would have a body heat but it's certain, uh, definitely not it's I insulated within the body uh, through all the uh, earth and whatever they have uh, that's you know their outer layer okay yeah. I'm not sitting next to castle then he's too cold yeah, you're, you're, you're snuggling with Brandon now yeah So, ignoring that presence, we can continue our long rest for now? Yes. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. So, how do how deep do we get before that presence becomes an issue? If it becomes an issue, please don't become an issue. presence seems to fade away probably about five or six hours in so it starts watching you yes it was watching you for about four hours in between in the middle of that rest so question at the end of my four hour long rest is it still there yes then at that point, being fully rested, Snaven would try to investigate it. By itself, totally a good idea. Cool. I mean, uh -huh. she's just gonna try and see if she can see what it is. Not she's going to go fight it, but... Could you roll Perception? dark outside right from the snowstorm mm. 
Yeah. Good. No disadvantage. Hmm. Okay. It's it's not clearly visible, but it's I'm thinking of the camo effect from Halo. It's an open mm. We're being watched by another one of those creepy eyeball things. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna basically spot it and just watch it and make sure it doesn't try to come near to us. Okay. Yeah, it's it just is floating probably like 90 feet directly overhead of the temple. It's otherwise not doing anything. And then it would leave. Cool. So if anyone is awake or aware at that point, I'll pass that along, but if the other three are still asleep, I'll let them rest. Mm. Yes, don't interrupt our long rest. Yeah. I don't think I took that much damage in our last battle. Uh, oh, oh, we too. actually fought some, some lesser demons interrupted our rest before. Oh, what? When? The, uh, at the beginning of the session. At the, yeah, at the beginning isn't of the it, session. Isn't it the game at 10.30? When did I miss this? 30 minutes ago? Yeah, it starts yeah. at 10. Oh, I thought it was 10.30. Y'all guys, guys need to lucky. ping me. You guys are lucky, man. Mine's at 7. Ugh. Yikes. I'm at yeah. 9. It's not too bad, but 7 sounds rough. I have to wake up early anyway to feed the, my cat, so they wake me uh. up. <laughs> yeah, cats will do that. So the time okay. in the game is pretty like early morning, like barely the sun has begun to rise. The party has finished their long rest and some of the storm has begun to fade away. My rest. Rest. I really don't need much long rest. Like, cause I'm a barbarian. We don't get almost anything on our long rest. Except for like a rage, but we don't rage often. Well, I blew through a ton of spells during all that, so... I coursed Valor into letting us rest. Yeah. Well, she only needed four hours, so even if we got a short four hour rest and we're interrupted again, I'd be fine, but yeah. Warlocks really only need short rest for the most part. Most of their crap. So at that point, what is the party doing? I will tell everyone about the o Ophelim. What is Ophenim? it? Ophelim. Oh, the eyes. Crazy eyeball thing. Yeah. I bet. See, that's what I was talking about. I was told a while ago by... Fuck, who was it again? I think it was one of the angels that, uh, Dothriel has, a uh, Basically has an eye on the temple. So... In the sky, as it were. An eye in the sky, as it were. Yeah, basically. Literally. It seems like. So, turns out the... Those, uh, rumors were true. So to speak, I would think. I saw it, so... I believe so. Yep. Anyway, it knows that we were here. It knows Solaire is gone. I'm sure... 
goth girl had already realized that, to be honest, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, just, can I... Uh... Go ahead, sorry. I was, I was gonna ask if I could look around and see if it came back at any point during the rest. No, after, after it left, it was gone. You haven't seen it since then? Okay. So we're clear right now. Yeah. So, what do y'all say? We continue to the arcane realm and free up, uh, Tiercy? Hmm. Oh, let's do it. That is Just... our spirit. Cool. Okay. So, the last time we started this at, in the natural realm, there's like a 60-ish feet sensor type thing until it like, basically within the crystal or the center, basically the thing that's creating the uh, what's it called? Permanent? And it'll let him know that we're there. I don't know if he's replaced his second in command or right hand woman yet, but I would still expect he would send some of his fallen angels. And. Unlike the natural realm, I don't know if there'll be any... <laughs> I don't know if there'll be any help... ...here. Well... To that end... There's one... ...possible source of... ...assistance we could look towards. Mm -hmm. We... We might have to make that trip to... ...Azrath. Oh, come on. You think you really think someone like that would be willing to help out that an angel? Like, well, really? I'm sure the demon, I'm sure that Azir is no friend of Gothriel's. Yes, but. Are they. I doubt they're willing, even if they aren't, I still don't know if they're willing to accept the the friend, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, you know, type thing. Mm. I think more like, literally just me, me, me. In most ways, yes. I feel it but may be more harm than good, but... Well, unless you want to take on these, uh, fallen angels all by ourselves. I guess we could just go to the arcane realm and hope there's someone there who'll help us. Yeah. But that's sort of a gamble, don't you think? It is, but also yours is a, also a gamble. Mine's happening either way, it's just a matter of when. No, I mean, uh, yours to help us. In terms of him helping us? Yeah, in terms well, of him helping us. It's called making a deal, is it not? Yes, but we don't know the cost yet. Well, resurrecting him may be contributing to that cost. Could. I say we just flip a coin on the matter right now. Jesus, we're taking too long. Okay, fine. Flip a coin, flip a sigil. If it lands on heads, or the crazy ones with the eyes, then we go straight to we go straight to the arcane realm. Right. If it goes on the other side with the feathers. We'll go see uh, Azeroth. Alright. 
Here you go. Tails. Son of a bitch. Well, okay. When does it lie? Fate has cho chosen our path, and we will honor it. So, from the sea, the wizard, the wizard, the wizard of Oz. Yeah, more like the demon, the wizard of Oz, the demon of Oz. How far is it to? Azurak lair anyway. It's probably a day, oh, half a day so from here. Yeah, it's pretty close from here. I'm sure the angel will be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what we said about you know every other angel. Well, Slur was fine, <laughs> or at least she is now. Yeah, she was just falling, you know, into yeah. her own. So, you don't think we have time to make it? No, we had we let fate decide, and fate has chosen. <sighs> don't give me that. You're the one that brought up this. I'm just gonna pull out the Eldritch Sigil. Let's just get this over with. What do you mean we don't? <laughs> You're probably right. We probably don't actually have time. And I'm just gonna hold up the Eldritch symbol and... What exactly do we do to get to the other realms? Women. <laughs> uh, Excuse <please>. you. <laughs> you make a decision, and then once that decision is made, you go like, Oh, never mind, I don't want that, or so, whatever. And it's like, God! <laughs> It's just typical. Like, Jasmine does this all the time. It's like, oh my god. Like, why do you insist? Just give me that. And I'll take the Eldritch Sigil and I place it on the, the, the podium thing here. Okay. The Sigil begins to energize. Lightning is emitting from this point. The sigil is dissolved, and the portal opens. All right, let's go. <laughs> As the battle's entering, I'm just going to quickly cast a little uh, vicious mockery. Jasmine would be better off with me anyway. As he goes to the portal. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> as, uh, as he's about to step in, he says, uh, as Castle says, one step for Janasi, one giant step for Janasi Kind. Cool. <clears throat> All damage. But yeah, you... you have to make a save, but. Oh. Wisdom? Yeah. Don't worry. I am the best. Son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah. That's a psychic damage. Did you really? As as you go through, so you don't get a chance to respond. You sick son of a <laughs> that is not possible. I'm gonna stand back and let the other two go in first. <clears throat> so, Everyone gets in. Get yes. I just go last. That's now Val's gonna be mad at me. So, after walking through the portal, leaving the temple, leaving the living world, the party enters into what seems to be a like limbo purgatory passageway through the realms all right let's keep going 
I continue to move forward because I've been to one of these places before. I think this is just like a it's like a bridge in between the worlds. You just gotta get to that other opening at the end. Is that how it works? Yeah, I mean. This is the safe route to tra between traveling for traveling between the realms. And we're just gonna make it up here just fine. Are we? Is there anything on this pedestal here? There is. Hmm. There's like a quill and ink and a few scrolls. Let's take a look at those scrolls. The scrolls are so there's writing in the scrolls it's the writing is unintelligible in a different language like a It's very, it's, it's high level, very technical, like equations, formulas. Would I pick up on any of what it's saying, even if I don't grasp the full meaning? <clears throat> you could roll Arcana. I am well versed in Arcana, so. Twenty-seven. Interesting. Holy. Lidrow have a very strong background in the arcane practices. I bet I can do better. We'll get up here and take a look. Let's see how much you can figure out. <laughs> yeah, this script is definitely primordial in origin. You can just tell my right off the bat you can't tell you that because you don't know you don't know prime boy buddy yeah and what does it say oh. huh oh well it's all mixed up in garbage goop can't tell where i can see primordial letters in there but it's spelled backwards and it's nonsense yeah you can't read backwards. i gave you a hint bud all right i don't study the arcane i'm just trying to give you some Well, if you could actually read this, you would know this was a scroll of negative mirror. Make what? Oh, naked mirror? Negative. Oh. oh. I don't know what that Negative. means. Do I? You could look at it. I think it's... Let's see. I'm gonna put it in your inventory. I don't recognize the spell, but oh shoot! Can I actually use this? I 
I haven't decided. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Um. This is this. Is, so we found like uh, what what are you reading exactly? You're just reading up a scroll that we found after we passed through the portal. You just found in the uh, the world in between. Yes. Yeah. This, uh, curiously enough, this is signed by Arminius. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, I totally know who Sam Arminius is. The Arminius that we is saw. the Arcanist, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. The one that you worked for? Yeah, I know. That's, that's what I totally said. I remember. Uh, yeah. Somehow, his magic got here. I'm not really yeah. sure, but... Uh, he's a great and powerful Was He probably, you know, uh, playing shifts all the time. Probably lost it. Fell out of his pocket. You know? You know how it just dark. happens. Yeah. yeah. Of course, we we uh, with spellcasters lose high level spell scrolls all over the place. It's just you know, happens. Yeah. I mean, guy has enough money to fund a second tower. Guy probably has loads of scrolls just crawling out of his pocket. Well, we just so happen to be lucky enough to find one. Yep. Anyway, uh, if that's all that's on this pedestal. Uh, should we move on? Yeah, yeah let's go through. Weird that it was on a pedestal, though. It's almost like a writing desk, but... And if there's any blank parchment, or if there's not, I'll pull some out. And then uh, I'll just sign my name on that parchment before we leave. Okay. Oh! Oh, if you're gonna do that, I'll, I'll leave my John Hancock too. And like he like puts his signature there, and then add, under it says, uh, uh, "Cast the was here." Wonderful. Now Arminius will know that you also were part of taking his role. Yeah, you know, boss man. You no, know, he's an alright guy. Well. Moving on, shall we? Yep. Yeah, let's. <sighs> so, where's the party intending to go from this point? Through the door. If we can focus on it, can we direct ourselves to where the angel is? Last time I went through a door to the Sky Haven, I don't know. I, thought, I don't know if we can choose. The other side may be a stationary door, but I can try. Well, we may as well at least attempt it. Sure. Yeah, in what way would you like to? You're going to you're going to attempt to direct yourself through the through the void to the next area. Mm -hmm. Oh, she will. Who's <laughs> driving? All of us. I am. Okay. Well, uh, I was just gonna go through the door and see where we are. <laughs> well, what would we have to do to sort of uh, direct the the travel? Maybe. Well, is it a fixed point? I, I yeah, I thought this might be just a doorway. I don't know how this actual 
fridge works. Like I, I just know how to use it, you know. Well, you uh, never know until you try. Yeah, maybe if we think about tyrosine really, really hard, and we, as we walk through, <laughs> we'll go to her. Sure, bud. Whoop! And he passes through the portal. Does does Castle even know what tyrosine looks like? You idiot. I mean, if she's a famous oh. angel, she's probably like you know had her like picture drawn up yeah. in like cities and statues of her. Statues. Yeah, there, there are. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. As I think about tear scene really, really hard, <laughs> and I walk through. Cool. Wow. See, I am a genius. Look uh -huh. at that. You directed us to a dragon. Well, but look who's next to it. Mm hmm. And plus, look, they both seem to be in some sort of trance. And do you see that crystal? Mm hmm. The one that's next in the middle of all of them? Hard to miss. That is uh, the firmament. I forget so, which angel is this again? Which, which, uh... You're seeing the angel of temperance. Temperance. Ah. Yeah, I can't wait to become a, a warlock too. I can sign up with some guy who's cooler than angels. That's... Deep into the future, guys. My multi class, it's a warlock. Babe. We can all be warlocks. Yeah. Just just remember I'm the I'm the first. <laughs> Which is the angel of uh well, never mind. Probably don't want a warlock with an angel. I wonder if I can have dual, uh, what are they called? Patrons? Dual. Yeah, dual patrons. Alright, <laughs> uh, so describe, describe the scene from DM. What am I looking at? <clears throat> Below you is a pulsing vortex of arcane energy it's like it's like electric but also like a fluid like flowing and surging above is a bluish purple night sky covered in arcane writings formulas, equations. These structures are like stone structures of ruins that are like broken, crumbling, flowing through this environment. A large black crystal surrounded by a barrier of divine making piercing as the party has seen as shown to them by the arcanist a silver dragon yeah Can I possibly make like uh, a nature check to like guesstimate like uh, like if this is an ancient dragon or is it, like an adult dragon? Sure. All right. Let's see how old this dragon looks like. 
19. It's It is an ancient dragon. Ah, uh, an ancient dragon. I meant to click on nature, but I could survive a while. Why? But yeah, so it would have been an 18. So, alright, so I know that's an ancient white dragon. That, right over there, is an angel uh, mm -hmm. of I the faith of the world, like which my, my character doesn't really care for. And we're here to save the world. Yes. yes. Uh, can I make uh, an arcana check? No, can I wait? No, it's still arcana. Can I make a nature check to know the crystal? Like, what's up with that crystal? Like, like if it's a natural forming crystal or if it's like, uh, sure. like a magical crystal that's formed through magic. Oh, it's magical, all right. Yeah, dumb dump. I want to know more about it. Is it like explosive? If I break it, it will it explode. No. I, well, I, I can tell you that from experience. Sixteen. What do I know about this crystal? Is it like a dark crystal? Is it like rare to come by? Is it something that's rare? You know, and like only certain type of people make it. I know it's a certain group sell it, you know. I want to know more. I want to know if, you, I, if, if I know who made the crystal, how it's formed, how people get it, I can narrow it down to people who got it. I can tell who you who it. made it. It's a divine crystal constructed from darkness and light. And his name is Gothriel. Gothriel got to have help. All right, man can't do everything himself. Uh, he yeah. is the ruler of the universe, so at, at this point, yeah. I'm telling you, this is right now. I can slay a god. All right, now, shut up and follow me. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's going. <laughs> He's going. <laughs> oh no. DM. Here's some big jumps, guys. Mm -hmm. Big jumps. What's up? I'm just knowing the the general nature of this room. I'm going to jump up and attempt to fly. Fly. You got wings? Nope. I'm just gonna see if it works. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, just jump. I'm in not the air jumping over jump. the edge. I'm just jumping <laughs> straight up. <laughs> I'm attempting to use some of the uh, natural magic here. Okay. Sine discovers she has a flying speed of 10 feet. So I will slowly drift after Castle. But uh, avoiding the unnecessary danger of jumping over the gaps. Cool. And I, I just want, I, I picture like Castle like jumping. And he's like, damn, I've never jumped this far before. Nah, he just thinks it like there's like less gravity around. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that. That's what. And uh, I will attempt to follow Sene's, uh thing and float. Float on as we go. Val discovers so he up. cannot uh, ca yeah. float at yeah, all. Something might happen, Castle. Uh, these sigils are, that are appearing in the map, are they like 
etched into the ground or is it like hovering over the floor? What am I looking at? They are it's like they are luminous magical symbols that are appearing not tied to the ground. They're just being cast out from a central point. Nothing stopping me from just walking over to the crystal, right? The scissors aren't making some kind of barrier. Yeah, it's you wouldn't be able to walk into it from the the circle, like right, like there. Right there. Yeah. All right. So, I actually have to leave now. Um, yeah, that's where we're going to stop right. for now. So for next All time. Right. All right. Peace, guys. That's going to be oh. the fifth. Oh, yeah. Wait. Next week. Yeah, Sunday. Dun so next Sunday? Yeah. Sunday. All right. That works for me. All right. Okay. Bye. Yeah. All right. Later. See ya. See you next time.